tucked away in a corner of this building is a small group of people trying to make a big difference. With this, it may look small, kind of like a tortilla chip, but what it lacks in size, it makes up for in function. The implant slowly releases pain medication over a period of weeks instead of hours or days, which means patients recovering from surgeries can comfortably go for rehab therapies, accelerating their recovery. You know, sometimes when you're working in a lab, you lose track on why we're actually doing this, who is going to benefit. So every time we go out and talk to clinicians, I always let them know that, hey, guys, if we manage to pull this off, this is going to be a game changer. In my team, we have four engineers and one uh, chemist. <laughs> Everyone needs to kind of give their input before we can start a project. And it turns out, there are a couple of big picture questions they need answered before starting to put a product together. Hello. <laughs> there is the medical affairs, regulatory affairs, as well as maybe some clinical indication search, and as well as competitor analysis. In the past, I'm doing formulation. But then I realised that there's a, a lot of things that is ongoing outside our formulation team. At least at the early stages of a startup, there's a lot more work than there are people. You're encouraged to kind of grow beyond what you're originally given. Yeah. Hello. Cynthia is a lace chemist in Singapore. I like the idea that this company was treating pain. So I think this is a very unique field because I think it has the potential to treat lots of patients. The diamond is my second favourite part of this. One thing I knew about coming to Startup would be that there will be a lot more responsibility given to each person. I think we will all have to do something a bit out of our scope. So I like that challenge of being able to learn more, be able to get more insights from like what other teams are doing and how we will all collaborate together to push out a product. Hey Daryl, so how's the manufacturing going? Going great. After Cynthia has performed the necessary checks, Daryl is in charge of creating the product, which in this case is an injectable version of the chip. I'll be adding this excipient into the formulation and I'll, making sure, I'll make sure it mixes well with the formulation. Right now, I'm just making sure it can go through the tubing and the needle, making sure that there's no clogging. The main difference between this and research in an academic setting is we really keep our eye out on the market, of what's really needed. After coming here, we learned that, oh, like, certain clinicians only like to use a certain size of syringe because they are trained that way. Even if you give them another syringe that makes it easier to inject, they may not necessarily like buy that product because it feels different. Hi. Final checks are done by Ming Siu. The sample gets transported to the separation column. The components of the sample will actually get separated within the column itself. From the detector, a signal will be generated and the intensity of the signal will actually tell you how much that component is present in your sample. Every time I do the analysis, it just pushes me to sharpen my analytical skills to look out for things that I need to look out for. As the team scales up production, they need scientists with highly specialised skill sets, which isn't always easy to find. When it comes to more specialised roles, like for example in preclinical testing or in analytical testing. Getting scientists there can be quite challenging. First, we have to find someone that specialises in the pharmaceutical industry. So that's how to find. And we need to find one that has a suitable amount of experience as well. LA Therapeutics worked with SG Innovate's talent programme team to look for suitable candidates for traineeships with the startup. SG Innovate has a network of scientists that are looking for an entry point into the pharmaceutical industry. So by tapping on this network, it made the search for a viable candidate a lot easier for us. In a startup, I feel that I can very easily see my contributions um, in a very uh, tangible way across different departments. I think I thrive in an environment where I get to see that, I get to see how my actions and how my work that I do on a day-to-day -day basis kind of affect the larger uh, or the bigger picture. 